So here's the scenario. So you might be presented with a scenario like what I'm trying to explain in, in the real world, in your job. So the cybersecurity team approaches you saying that they want to have a look at the logs uh, for a particular user, the sign-in logs for a particular user from six weeks before. Maybe they are trying to audit a particular user, maybe they are trying to see whether there is a pattern for the cybersecurity threat that they have for one particular user, high-risk user, whatever. So they are trying to investigate something and they want to see when it started, how long has it been going on for, uh, when was the account compromised, if at all. So they want to see the logs. And that's when you kind of figure out that, oh, you know, I don't have the logs past the 30 days in Android ID. In this video, we are going to figure out as to what can be done to keep your Android ID sign-in logs and audit logs and all the associated logs for more than 30 days. So if you're new to the channel, my name is Rajit and I cover Microsoft 365 and Azure topics on a daily basis on this channel. So if those topics are of interest to you, please do consider subscribing to the channel and check out my other videos as well. So coming back, so if we go into the portal that we have, so portal.azure.com, and if we scroll all the way down and if you go into sign-in logs, we can see all the sign-in logs that we have for us. By default, it shows the last 24 hours and it gives you all the information regarding the users who have signed in, the IP address, whether it was successful, whether it was a um, single factor authentication or MFA. And you can flip the dates and go for by last seven days and last one month, or you can go for a custom interval. Now, the thing is, if you have Endra ID free, uh, scenario. So if we go into Microsoft Android ID over here, and if you look at the license that you have, so I have Microsoft Android ID P2, which is the highest license that you could have for Microsoft Android ID, which is the premium two. But we have three variants. So the first one that you have when you spin up a tenant is Microsoft Android ID free. So if you're having a free tenant uh, without any add-ons for the Android ID part, then your logs are only kept for seven days. And after seven days, it gets rotated. So it gets deleted and the new records comes in. If you have a paid plan, either premium one or premium two, by default, the logs are only kept for 30 days. And that is why you could only go back up to 30 days over here. So if you say last one month and click apply, it will bring all the logs that you have within your tenant for the last one month. Now, if you want to keep your logs past the 30 days that the Microsoft Entra ID gives, even if you're on the P2 plan, you need to export or you need to push the logs into a different platform. Maybe you want to store it in an actual Azure storage account or log analytics. So log analytics is a good viable option, which you can set up pretty easily. So we are going to see as to how we can do that in this particular video. So we need to have a log analytics workspace for that. So we need to create the workspace. We need to set the retention for, let's say, 90 days so that the logs that comes in stays there for 90 days, if 90 days is a good number. If you want, you can increase that. So you're being billed depending upon how long you're keeping the data for plus the amount of data that you have within the workspace. So let's start by creating a log analytics workspace. So let me just go into the Home tab and let me just search for it. So log analytics. And here it is, log analytics workspaces. So I don't have any workspace at the moment, so let's try and create one by clicking on the Create Log Analytics Workspace button that we have. So let's wait for it to load. So you can pick the subscription that you have. I only have one at the moment. And you can either use an existing resource group that you have, or you can create a new one. I mean, resource group is nothing but a collection, a, a container for all your resources that you have. Think of it like a folder in the Windows world in which you have all the files. It's, it's like a container. So I already have one which says log analytics RG, which stands for resource group. And I'm going to give an instance name like Endra ID logs. So it is self-explanatory. And I'm picking the region as UK South. So you go for the one that is closest to you. So if you are working in the Middle East, you pick a region over there. If you are based in the US, then you choose a US region. So let me go with UK South uh, and click on Next. Tags are completely optional, but if you do want to have, you can go for it. But I'm going to skip that part and say Review and Create. So it goes ahead and does the final validation to see all the options that we have selected is good or not. So it comes back with a green validation pass tick box. And let me click on Create to create the Log Analytics workspace. So let's wait for that task to complete. So the deployment has been completed. So you can always check the progress by looking at the toast over here on the top right. So it says Deployment Succeeded. I have a few credits remaining. So if we expand the deployment details, 
it will give you the information regarding what exactly has happened. So it has created an intra ID logs resource, which is of type log analytics workspace. And it's all good. So let's go to the resource by clicking on the button, go to the resource. Now that we have the workspace in which we can keep our log files, let's change the retention period to our liking. So let's go into within the settings tab, let's go into usage and estimated cost within the left hand side. So let's click on that one. It brings up your usage information. We don't have anything at the moment, so everything is blank. So let's click on data retention at the top to set our data retention. So it says by default it is set to 30 days. I could go say, in my case, uh, let's go for 90 days. You could go beyond the 90 if you want to, but I'm good with keeping the logs for 90 days, which is good for my company. If you have tighter compliance policies, so if you're in a regulatory uh, organization, maybe you want to keep the logs for longer, maybe you know half a year or one year. So you'll have to speak with your legal department or the audit team to figure out as to what's your sweet spot, and then you can adjust the value over here. So 90 is good for me, so I can click on OK, and it updates the log analytics workspace. So we have the destination at the moment. So we have the workspace created. We have set the retention to our liking. Now we have to go back into Android ID and start pushing the logs into the workspace. Now let's click on diagnostic settings on the left hand side under monitoring, which is just below the log analytics option. And over here, you can set a diagnostic setting. So this is where we specify what all logs you want to have as part of this configuration. So you have all these log files with Nendra ID and you can add a diagnostic setting over here and we can select the ones that we need. So I need audit log sign in. Let's pick a few. And in real life, you know, you'll be picking all the ones that you need. Risky users is a good one. Um, user risk events, um, graph activity, maybe not. So these are good enough for me. And I can give a setting saying Entra ID logs. And I can say send to log analytics workspace. So you need to pick your subscription in the first place and then you have to pick your log analytics workspace. I only have one at the moment. If you have multiple ones, you can pick the right one by using the drop-down menu. And we can scroll down, and it says, in order to export sign-in data, your organization needs Azure AD P1 or P2 license. If you don't have a P1 or P2 license, you can start a trial. So you can click on Save. So the settings have been updated. So as we said in the beginning, we need to have an Android ID P1 or P2 for this to work in order to move data from your Android ID portal into a log analytics workspace. So we do have that. And by default, with having a P1 or P2, you get 30 days within the Android ID portal. And if you want more than that, we need to move it out into something like log analytics. So now that we have the diagnostic setting, let's just go back. And you can see it over here. If you do have to modify it later on, you can click on the edit settings and you can pick and choose more logs or you can refine it the way you want um, in your organization. So now that we have these settings configured, let's go back and sign into the Entra ID portal using a couple of accounts to generate some activity which can be seen in the log analytics workspace. So let's do that and come back once it is done. Now that we have everything configured, let's have a look at the log analytics to see whether we have any data coming through. So for that, let's navigate to the monitoring section on the left-hand side and go into Log Analytics. So click on Log Analytics on the left-hand pane, wait for it to load. And here we are using KQL queries, which is not something that we are going to deep dive into in this particular video. So you need to um, have an idea regarding how the KQL syntax works. So by default, you have a search um, star uh, being run, so it kind of lists everything that you have in that log space. Now, as you can see, you have a list of tables being listed. So you have the AID, non-interactive user sign-in logs. So you have the audit logs, the usage, um, audit logs again. So in order to find one of them, you can expand one of these entries, and then it will give you more information regarding the user account that's been used, the date and time. So in this case, it's my account, and you know, single factor authentication, mobile apps, and desktop clients. So it gives you much more rich details as to the machine that's been used. So it's a Windows 10 machine. The browser was Edge. So you can query these ones by using the KQL structures or the KQL query. So let's say if you want to pick the audit logs, and you can just say you know where um, you know a parameter is equal to something. So maybe a display name equals uh, a name. Let's just go for the entire audit logs, and let's just click on run. Similarly, we can run AID non-interactive sign-in logs, and let's not go with where. Let's just run everything. So it just brings the 
non-interactive user sign-in logs over here. So you can again expand one of these and then you know get the information that you need. So here it's Rosgala, and he was accessing something, so Microsoft Teams over here. So you can export the data uh, that we have over here using the export option. You can construct the query uh, in a detailed way in which you are specifying what exactly you need, like where, and you can have you know date parameters, or you can pick and choose whatever parameters that you have in this one and then construct your syntax that way so you get tailored results. So you have data coming in, which is what we want, and we have set the retention for 90 days. So all the data that comes in over here into the log analytics workspace that we have will retain the data for 90 days and you can export it, you can have a look at it, and you are in a much better place than having the seven days with the free um, license that we have in ID free or the paid P1 or P2, which just gives you 30 days of Entra ID sign-in logs and any other logs that we have within the platform. So if you are someone who uses Entra ID on a regular basis, you know, do check out the Entra ID beginner's guide when which we go through everything that we have within the Entra ID portal. Thank you.